is Barbara Manconi smith and I'm the admin of the Medical Medium Detox Support Group. Today I wanted to come up here because I wanted to address some of the questions, a lot of questions actually, I received in the past week or so regarding our lymphatic cleanse starting on, the, uh, on Monday, the 2nd, and why this could be the answer to why you are not healing properly or you're getting worse. So in order to address this, we have to take a step back and understand what happens to our body when we get into a heavy detoxification mode. As Anthony says many times, the body is always at any point trying to protect us and to do what's best for us. It's called self-preservation. So um, the body has an in-store so-called plan A, B, and C to try to support us whenever a dysfunction arises. So if anything, if an organ fails, there's another one that supplies um, uh, support for, for a short amount of time or what's supposed to be a short amount of time. So the same happens with toxins. So the body tries to process what it can and what it cannot process is trying to uh, push away from the organs and try to tame it and coat it um, with lipids, with fat, because toxins are corrosive. So if they were just free flowing, they would be uh, damaging, extremely damaging. So the body produces fat to coat um, these toxins. And that is why you will find the majority of your toxins in the fat in your brain and in the visceral fat around your belly area. So some of you are asking, most of you actually are asking, well, since I started the protocol, I gained a lot of weight. So one of the reasons why you may be gaining a lot of weight is because your lymphatic system and your kidneys are not properly doing their work. They are either overburdened, meaning that your detoxification process is way too fast, so your elimination systems can't keep up with it, and so they have an over excess of uh, toxins. They don't know what to, the body doesn't know what to do with it. So as I said, because the body is smart, it's gonna store fat to store the toxin in it, so they will not harm us as much. So you may be getting weight just because you have too many toxins, um, you're trying to release too many toxins at once. Another reason could be that your lymphatic system to begin with is stagnant. In fact, nine out of 10 people, probably 10 out of 10 people uh, among all clients that I've seen, and I've seen clients now for quite some time, for a few years all over the world, uh, we do all have some level of lymphatic stagnation. Now, the lymphatic system is the biggest liquid uh, fluid system in the, uh, in the body, way bigger than the, than the blood system. The blood system, though, has a pump, which is the heart. The lymphatic system doesn't have a pump, so it relies on our movement and on a few other things to uh, open and close the valve that let the lymph, the liquid within the lymphatic system, move. So what happens is that um, stress, daily life, wrong, uh, wrong food, or a too fast detoxification process overburden the lymphatic system, creates an increased toxicity, and the lymphatic system can't keep up. Um, and so what it continues to do is, is, is coating toxins with fat because the lymphatic system is a lipid-based system. Because again, toxins are in it. So. Um, so this, this fluid, this lymph, uh, gets stagnant, gets thicker. And you know, imagine it almost as a, a lazy river. So the lazy river is supposed to just flow, uh, you know, um, very gently. But at some point, whether, again, because we have too much toxins in the system and the, it's too much at once, or because we're not uh, moving, we are not, we're extremely stressed, uh, we don't have the proper nutrition, we may have nutritional deficiency. So there are many reasons why the lymphatic um, system could be stagnant. Um, but the, the outcome is that the toxins that are supposed to go out are not going out because this lymph, as I was calling it, is, is very thick and so it's dense. And the thicker it is, the slower it goes and sometimes can get clogged. So it is important that before we address any type of detoxification, sorry, any type of detoxification, we are sure that our lymphatic system, the lymph in it, can actually flow, can actually move, so that it can escort the, uh, the toxins out. But many times, especially when you guys feel that you're not getting any better, 
the reason behind is that your lymphatic system is stagnant and so you're actually not really carrying out the toxins or not carrying out all the toxins and when you are signaling the body to release the toxins that remember i said before are stored in the fat because now it's safe to um to push them out um you experience a high level of toxicity because now these toxins are you know red like free, free flowing and ready to go out so um you may become me you may be feeling worse you may be uh, having symptoms that you didn't have before or you might experience what we call detox crisis but it's really most of the time behind the detox is severe detox crisis there is a very stagnant lymphatic system and or kidneys not properly working Now, we're going to talk about kidneys in a second, but let's focus on the lymphatic system first. So what I want you to understand is that no matter what your, what your symptoms are, no matter what, uh, whether you're trying to detoxify from heavy metals, whether you're trying to detoxify from um, you know, EBV or any other bacteria or viruses, all of them produce waste material that is toxic. And this toxic waste material has to be excreted in order for us to feel better. So we can try to use all the supplements to kill the viruses, but if the, the viruses, once they're dead, if you guys have read the books from Anthony, you will know that, um, the dead cells of the virus are toxic. So the byproduct of the viruses are toxic. So all this toxicity has to go out. If it doesn't go out, it's gonna stay in the system, it's gonna, makes us, it's gonna make us feel worse. So. For this reason, it's crucial that your lymphatic system works properly. And that's why I always say that before any heavy detoxification, it is important to address the health of your lymphatic system so that at any point when you start pushing toxins to go out, they will actually go out. You will feel better and you will see the results and you know, uh, you'll feel like a new person. The last component of the elimination process are the kidneys. As you guys know, the kidneys are in charge of moving forward the waste material uh, through the urine. And when this happens, the detoxification process is complete. But when this does not happen, that is when we have the recirculation problem, the recirculation of toxins. So uh, it could be then very well that your lymphatic system might move along quite uh, well, but the, uh, the blockage happens at uh, kidney level. And why is that? Um, well, there are many reasons why the kidney may be dysfunctional, but a very common one that I see over and over again is connected to the adrenals. Now, a lot of us are adrenal deficient or we have uh, depleted adrenals because, you know, it's, it's a modern day life and that's kind of a consequence. Um, but when you think about adrenal depletion, you have to consider also uh, kidneys function because the adrenals are sitting just right on top of the kidneys and we cannot believe that the two will not be um, you know um, affecting each other in, med in Chinese medicine in fact adrenals and kidneys are part of the same organ so whether you have adrenal depletion whether you are constantly fatigued whether you um, gaining uh, an, an incredible amount of weight without um, understanding why this could be without a specific um, good reason um, if you see that your symptoms your detox symptoms are um, lasting too long to the point of becoming a detox crisis then you might want to consider the health of your lymphatic system or of your kidneys overall your uh, filtration process um, as the main cause, the root cause of what's happening to you. So my advice is to step back and um, consider to um, stop, for instance, the heavy metal detox smoothie because you're just bringing more toxins to the surface, in this case heavy metals, and if, you're, if they don't have a way to go, then they're just going to stay in and, not, uh, and it's not going to be pleasant. So whether you want to do a lymphatic cleanse together um, with our group that starts on Monday or you want to do it on your own, I just wanted to let you know that it is possible not to feel this way. It is possible to get better and you don't have to give up because I've had a lot of emails from you guys saying that you are so close to give up because you're getting worse, you're getting weight, um, but it doesn't have to be this way. That's why I always advise you guys to work with a practitioner that knows exactly what, how the body works and, and works with you um, to, to pinpoint the root cause cause of what could be uh, the element that is hindering your healing process. So I just wanted to kind of come here you guys and talk about the lymphatic system and just put it in the back of your mind the fact that um, this could be the issue and it could be solved. 
and I can have a lot of my current clients come over and, uh, and as a matter of fact we'll do some Facebook live uh, going forward and they will tell you how just by tweaking few things they've seen amazing results from losing weight five pounds in the first five days to feeling extremely better much more energy and simply because we started attacking the lymphatic system and pay attention to the filtration system so that's all i wanted to say i hope this was um helpful and to those of you who will sign up uh to the lymphatic clients on monday i'll see you all there bye